Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships and Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are in the Cossack Tier 6 British Premium Destroyer. Now, I'll be real honest with you. I'm skipping the uh, the intro that we normally do on Meet Those for this ship mainly because I don't know if I'm doing a good enough job with the build. I've tried both my uh, Reginald Tierwit build that I use on my Lightning. I've also decided to get some promotion orders and rank up the uh, other guy, which I can't remember right off the top of my head. But you guys will know who it is, I'm sure, and try to go for a more gun-focused build, and that's what this is. Now, first of all, I just need to say this right off the bat. This match is probably not going to be the most entertaining. I apologize. I've tried several matches with this thing. Honestly, I'm just not feeling it. Um, it's good, but it's not. And I'll, I'll go over that in a minute. So the main frustration that I have with this ship is just the fact that you only get four torpedoes. Okay. They're decent torpedoes, 10 kilometers. I mean, they, they reach out and touch people, but there's only four of them. So you have to be extremely selective on when to use them. Now they do reload relatively decently um, for what they are, but again, you're very limited on what you can do with four torpedoes. Um, then on the other side of it, you've got guns and the guns are very fast firing guns and it has quite a few of them, but relying on guns in a destroyer has always been a little bit of a uh, problem for me. Now I've, I've, d I've done okay in the American destroyers with guns just because Early on, you didn't have a choice. You were folk, you were seriously limited on your your torpedoes. So unless you were uh, torping people sailing directly at you, or you were hiding behind an island waiting for somebody to pass and then torping them that way, um, you were really limited early on uh, in the American tech tree. So I got used to using my guns quite a bit and running around being detected as a destroyer. I've since got away from that play style, and it's hurting me with the Leningrad, with the Cossack, you know, these ships that are very heavily gun focused in the destroyer branch. Um, now this thing is basically a mini lightning, except it has only four torps. And this thing is very good in the right hands because of the guns and because of the fact that, you know, somebody can utilize four torpedoes way better than I can. I have a horrendous torpedo hit average. Uh, you guys have seen me, you know, launch several torpedoes in, in streams and stuff and just not hit anything at all. Uh, I try to anticipate where people are going to go. Most of the time I end up just relying on the computer and any change whatsoever causes me to miss. So I went with the the gun-focused build, which reduces our, our uh, concealment a little bit. It's not much. I've still got the concealment down right around five and a half or a little less than five and a half kilometers. So it's not terrible, but it, it does limit you a little bit on sneaking up on people. Now, once you catch somebody off guard, my, namely destroyers, once you catch destroyers off guard in this thing, you can and will inflict a lot of damage with your guns uh, deceptively quickly. Uh, now, the HE, while it does set fires, is not reliable. Uh, damage wise it doesn't give you a lot of damage like the Japanese for instance you get good hits with Japanese HE it's disgusting now here you're gonna see me absolutely potato this Bajani I know that I'm gonna be detected by the Bajani as soon as I come around the corner I was hoping that he would freak out and back up so I start launching these now before I get detected in the hopes that he'll back up and try to shoot me uh, he doesn't uh, I start shooting at him and he immediately throws the thing forward, which is the right move to make. You know you have an island to your right. The only way that you can get away with it is to, to run forward. You know that there are torps likely coming, and he avoids every one of them. Uh, I started to shoot some AP a little bit, but he unfortunately didn't ever give me the broadside. And you can see just how long it takes him to get his guns around and start shooting at us. And we're not going to sit here all willy-nilly and take it. We're, we're going to keep our guns focused on him while trying to run away, but he does catch us here a few times, and that's when the smoke starts coming out. Now, that's the biggest downside of this particular British cruiser, er, destroyer, is that it is limited in smokes. It's got long duration smokes, which is great if you're sitting in them firing your guns, it allows you to shoot for a very long time, a minute and a half. 
So that's a good thing, and I'm going to utilize that here. I'm not in the smoke, so if he had a plane right now, I'd be detected because I'm firing outside of the smoke. But it's still a minute and a half long smoke, and one of the best parts of being in a British destroyer, one of the best things about the Lightning is that it has a lot of short-duration smokes. It's basically get-out-of-jail-free cards is how I use them. And so they come in handy, and this thing has kind of got me boggled because... Once I use the smoke and kill the one person that I'm up against, it's just, it's a useless smoke for me. There's no reason to have it. So then I leave it and then it takes so long to dissipate and then so much longer to reload that it's just, it's so useless. It's so annoying. I hate long duration smokes, but that's just me. Maybe that's why me and the lightning get along so well. But the other downside of this particular ship is that it's such a large destroyer. It sits out of the water very high, especially in the front. And that allows people to get lots and lots and lots of hits on you. Lots of hits. <laughs> kind of like what I was saying with the Leningrad, I believe. Uh, I believe I had the same issue with it, where it just sits so high up out of the water that anybody who's shooting at you is going to get multiple hits per salvo and it may be harder for me, say, in a few moments when we get into a gunfight with these destroyers. And don't worry, we're going to get in a gunfight with the destroyers. I'm going to bait them back to us. I have help behind me. So I figure if I get into the cap and start capping, these guys will start to turn back and I will be able to do something about them. Now, Shores is moving up towards the island. Can't do anything about that. So I'm going to go ahead and start trying to torp in this general direction in hopes that... I can catch any of the destroyers that are coming by off guard. Now, there is a battleship out to my left, and I want to get rid of him because he's a danger to my cruisers. He's the only battleship left, and if I can get rid of him quickly, then I can hopefully save our cruisers, and that'll allow me the huge advantage against these destroyers, because there are still three destroyers out here. Now, the Sinop has some health, but a little HE can get him to burn his damage con and we can maybe potentially set him on fire right after his damage con burns out. Uh, a lot of people spec into really short duration um, damage cons, so you can set multiple fires even after they burn their damage con really quickly. Now, unfortunately, when they do that, they reduce the overall reload time of their uh, damage con as well. But you can see we're not the only one shooting at him, and this Sinop is very dangerous. Once I decide to actually start shooting him, that's the that's one positive slash negative of this ship. It has very high firing arcs. Uh, so you can shoot over top of islands very easily, but you also tend to uh, miss a lot of shells because you're not leading your target enough or you're just not counting on how long they're flying. So I need more time in this ship is what I'm saying in order to give a proper you know, feel for the ship. And as you can see, he already burned his one damage con for a single fire. So we're going to go ahead and try to set another fire, and we get the second fire right there. Now, normally I would try to stop firing here, but it is a Russian battleship. We already said that the damage cons on the Russians do tend to reload relatively quickly, so we don't want to stop firing at him. We want to make sure he dies. So we're going to keep firing, and now the Shores has closed back in on us, and we can start to avoid him. As you can see, there we got the Sinop. Now the Akatsuki's starting to move in, and this is dangerous. I've got a Shores shooting at me, I've got an Akatsuki shooting at me, and my smoke uh, just now came back, so we're going to try to drop smoke. And because the Akatsuki fired at me, that's going to keep him detected, and now I can sit in my smoke and do some damage. Uh, this is what you want to do best case scenario in this, this ship is try to use your smoke when you're in these situations because otherwise you're in a very dangerous ship. You're going to get caught is what I'm saying. You're just such a big target you're going to get caught. Now I break the smoke. It's a dumb idea. But my thought process here was, was pretty well grounded. I want to come out of the smoke because I anticipate torpedoes incoming. I don't have my hydroacoustic right now so I want to rush the Akatsuki. Unfortunately, I run right into the gate, and that is not preferable. <laughs> this thing will absolutely murder my face, so we want to try to get rid of him. Now, that being said, I'm not going to just sit here and let him murder my face, and we're going to get to see the Daka Daka power of these guns. This thing reloads very quickly, unlike his ship. So we need to hit every shot that we can, and he's a pretty large ship in his own right, 
and we're doing a very good job of avoiding most of the rounds, but there's so many people shooting us right now, it's not just the game. We've got an Akatsuki, and what I didn't know was, oh my god, we're horrible torpedo dodge, didn't even see them coming, still managed to dodge him because luck. That's all that was, that was no skill. Can I please hit the gate? Thank you. Well done, Spartan. Please, you've got 400 health left. Can you kill him, please? Oh my God. Why am I the only one shooting him? I say as the New Mexico finally decides to hit him. And then I take a round and go down to 143 health. Now that got real exciting real fast. Now, I've got my torpedoes back right now. There's an angry smoke screen right ahead of me, and here's where I'm gonna make my final mistake. I've made a lot of mistakes in this match, and that's probably one of the things that has uh, limited my damage here, but you can see I get close enough to spot these guys with my Hydro, and I start firing at them. Unfortunately, the first salvo was not that great. I'm trying to shoot the Akatsuki. He's the lowest health. I wanna get him gone. The Fabuki is still dangerous, but if I can get rid of this freaking Akatsuki, come on. Oh, he disappeared. How does he disappear? I'm getting too far away. And luckily, he's back inside four kilometers, gets detected. And I'm going to try to dodge. Nope. Nope. He catches with just the two rounds. And unfortunately, it was enough. Uh, Fabuki gets away for now, but he's not long for this world because we have a cruiser and two battleships closing in on him. So my final thoughts on this, this ship is it's not a bad ship. It really isn't. It, it requires a special touch. I do not have to have... I do not have special touch. <laughs> I might be special, as Flambass would have all show up in his chat. But <laughs> I may be special, but I do not have the special touch required for some of these more finesse-worthy ships. It's a good ship. The guns fire extremely fast. Or the high explosive, while not the most devastating hits, they fire really fast and they set good fires, so it is usable. The long duration smokes aren't my thing, but other people will probably have fun with that. That's just not my particular play style, particularly. Um, but other than that, I feel like we, we gave it a fair shake. And even though I'm not the best in it, I'm not a destroyer player anyway. You guys know this. I'm a battleship main. Never claimed to be a destroyer guy. I just like the lightning a lot. <laughs> but... uh but I feel like we gave it a pretty good shake. You guys can get a, a feel for the ship. We got 104 hits this match. Like, we were cycling the guns, something fierce. Never got a single torpedo hit. 40,000 damage done. That's not bad. Not bad for a destroyer to do 40,000 damage with not a single torpedo hit. But, you add in the, the ability for some people to catch people with torpedoes, and oh my god, the Fabuki just took out the Galicianeer. <laughs> well done. Well done. That's that Japanese high explosive I was telling you about. French cruisers, not known for taking high explosive well. And that was a very good salvo by the Fabuki. However, he fired his guns inside four kilometers of our Bayern. And there's another battleship back there as well. So he's not long for this world. It's just a matter of time. As soon as these Bayern actually fires his guns again, this Fabuki is dead. Even German accuracy can't troll you that hard, right? right okay <laughs> down he goes so hopefully you guys have enjoyed i apologize for skipping the the like the build if you guys want to see that let me know i'll maybe put a screenshot in our community section or something uh but 2200 base xp top of the leaderboard didn't feel like we were doing a whole lot that match but apparently the game thought otherwise uh, apparently 40,000 damage in a uh, destroyer not too shabby when you're only using your guns so if you like what i'm doing punch the like button Leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.